I am aware of all the gay secrets of comedians and performers. Jamie Furrow I am unable to identify the name of the dog that attempted to turn over on me, but I can tell you that it was him. He wasn't attempting to come to her honor or whatever tonight, speaking up for the first time since a medical scare, but Jennifer was the one who was angry with me, not him. The Diddy saga is becoming crazier by the day, back in April, but I'm still not telling you what sent him to the hospital. I went through something I never thought I would endure. Day, just when you believe there was no more Wilder to come. Apparently, Cat Williams is making more serious accusations against Diddy. She claims that Diddy was allegedly possessing some tasty information about Diddy's infamous freak-off parties, and Jamie Foxx is the target of a diabolical scheme because an old video has lately appeared on Jamie speaking candidly about how Diddy attempted to elope with him after he revealed the identity of his ex-girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez. Jamie hasn't been hesitant about his experiences at Diddy's parties either. I was following Puff after Puff, and his parties were incredible. We were in Philadelphia one day. I was watching some pretty insane stuff, and he even admitted to capturing some of the lunacy that went down. Commerce is increasing in Philadelphia town center, but as they say, this party is right here while everyone else was busy getting married, Cat Williams was never seen having a wild time with Diddy. I've done nothing except acquire knowledge and your secrets over the past 30 years so down Kitty was gathering intelligence. You may recall when Jamie had that serious health scare last year. The rumors on the street are that Diddy was behind it all, and Katz are now disclosing all the specifics of how it happened, only months before Cassie's shocking lawsuit against Diddy was filed. Jamie discovered that he was battling for his life, and it appears that Diddy's fall from grace is due to the fact that I am the product therefore, he is always re-up because he is. At last the time has come, and although we have all noticed the signs for some time now Diddy has been involved in scandals since the 1990s who would have thought that the R. Kelly looks like a boy scout compared to Diddy's crimes and depravity so here's why the charges that are currently circling about him are so horrifying. Not only have we been hearing concerning accusations about Diddy for a few months, but there are now even more suspicions circulating about him. The word on the street is that he may or may not have contributed to Jamie Foxx's enigmatic hospitalization last year, but keep in mind that Diddy has faced similar charges before. Sounds of whispering there have been long-running rumors that Diddy may have contributed to the poisoning of his ex-girlfriend Kim Porter, and if that weren't enough he may have also been the same to Kim's former partner. Prior to his passing, Andre was undoubtedly working on a book. Before his death, Heavy D was finishing up a book. Before she passed away, Albie and Kim Porter were both working on books, working on his life documentary before entering a coma. This is when things start to get very strange there are striking parallels between Al's experience and Jamie's hospitalization. Fascinatingly, none of them has revealed the specifics of what happened to them after they both unexpectedly fainted and spent what seemed like an eternity struggling to survive. Raise their health concerns tonight speaking up for the first time since a health crisis in April but continuing to withhold the details of what sent him to the hospital. I experienced something that the shocking thing is that it seems like all of these people are connected by their knowledge of Diddy's purported crimes, which is something I never would have imagined happening. Because of Jim's long-standing relationship with Diddy, one of the first things he shared on social media following his discharge from the hospital was this remark they killed this. Hey Jesus, what do you think they're going to do to you, a fake friend? Since Jamie used to talk up celebrities before getting sick, many started to question if there was any connection to those crazy Diddy allegations. A riot about Diddy's events. And this time he even revealed how Diddy had given him permission to bring his camera and record some of the wildest scenes from his parties back in the day when at. This was before the days of the large, obtrusive cannon, not the small camera you guys had. It seemed like there was a problem with my battery pack so I changed it and turned on my light. Missed that one, please try it again. I recall watching Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel, where I'm recording this, and it's a pool party that I followed him for the entire duration of. Is absurd I things have now taken an even more unsettling turn at this point. Jamie told him that when he was just 13 years old, Nick Cannon camped on his couch, which naturally sparked a lot of raising eyebrows. People speculate that this might be another Justin Bieber Diddy Usher scenario. Nick Cannon was in one of the few areas of the house I could let him sleep in when he was 13. Fair underscore underscore. Fans are baffled as to what precisely is going on with them, asking if they should go back in there or not let them in. He was like this, right? He slept on the couch. Older industry men hosted overnight stays for young artists in the past. When he was around 10 and I was a little older, his older brother and I would get into arguments over frosted flakes. Ever since the release of the film 48 Hours, which Justin is currently in, 
fans have begun to make connections between him and Diddy, dating back to when Williams' cat revealed the details behind Jim's purported liaison with his label artist Marquez Anthony back in 2012, when Cat was performing his stand-up routine in Los Angeles, and he went off on this tangent about knowing everyone's secrets, particularly those concerning businessmen that are under investigation. I am aware of every gay actor and comedian's secret. The sole man signed to Jamie Pops is a man by the name of Marcus Anthony. The man informed me backstage during a play that I could bring him on stage so I decided to check it out and then ask him on Twitter. If he doesn't say yes, Pops says to me, okay, let's check it out. Let me just say that, although Marquez dismissed the questions he eventually received concerning these claims, his body language nearly begged for an explanation. The person who has gone out on travel the comedian Cat Williams is currently on tour. Since Jamie Foxx and I have never interacted in any way let's just state up front that I am not gay and that this entire event has. Supporters are assuming that Diddy may have attempted to quiet Gene because he may have known too much about those bizarre people and they are directing their accusations at him. And maybe even having some old records in his storage from when Timmy was hospitalized and struggling for his life. Diddy's camp didn't provide any public assistance or followers began encouraging Jimmy and his family, speculating that perhaps Jimmy felt like Diddy had stabbed him in the back especially in light of Jamie's alleged keeping all of Diddy's secrets hidden for years. But it gets even wilder, as a TikTok user recently went viral and said that her mother, who was once close to Jamie, D revealed the details of these alleged nude basketball games. There are rumors that Jamie had something called Boonan when he hosted with Diddy and several other well-known figures in the business. Basketball matches he used to invite a number of individuals who were considered to be part of Hollywood Delight to his house for a basketball game, but it was just for guys, and they would say things like, oh, we're just going to get naked and play. Hoops I said, oh, come on, if you want to know who was probably at these games, just look at who P. Diddy and Jamie Foxx have been hanging around for years. Meanwhile, X fans are sending along this video of Jam doing a stand-up, in which he said that Diddy attempted to get him off the stage for making fun of his former girlfriend. To others who did not know Jamie, one admirer who posted the video wrote, you The narrative of Fox being pressured by Diddy for making a joke on Saturday Night Live about Jennifer Lopez's incapacity to sing is so suspenseful that it ends. Fox used to be a truly savage stand-up comedian. If As if Jamie's new puffy attempted to roll up on music. It wasn't him, I promise I can't hold it against him. It was, I know I joke around it's part of my profession. If on Saturday Night Live, I made jokes about Jennifer who was upset with me, but he was just trying to reach her, you know, for honor or whatever. Jennifer felt upset because, well, she was a puppy. You see, I know Jennifer from Living Color, and when I saw her at the Grammys, she was mad at me. I approached her at the Grammy Awards by walking around backstage. Hey Jennifer, I said, what's up? She gave me a beatbox yo-yo, you know what's wrong, Jennifer J.Lo, I'm angry at you. At that moment, Puffy entered and exclaimed, you know I'm mad at you, I'm so stinned at you. Take that, take that, take that, take that, take that, take that, take Puffy over here, over here, oh my bad, my terrible, he actually has too much juice in his, I believe you have seen individuals who have a lot of juice in their throats, they just mouth it juicy, I'll giving off the impression that they have a juicy M. You have a mouth that is like a juice box. Cat Williams is receiving praise from fans for speaking out and for being one of the few celebrities who avoided Diddy's wild parties despite all the commotion surrounding her. And games of nude basketball and those dubious sleepovers with emerging artist Diddy's influence over those who are happy with Cat for standing up is diminishing as more people discuss it, according to a fan. Regarding Jamie, many people believe that Diddy intended to permanently quiet him. One fan said, I remember when Albie was talking about his childhood in response to this. He and Jamie Foxx were preparing to expose Diddy in a documentary before his coma, but in an effort to silence them, they both ended up in a coma during the shutdown. Just a few famous people are claimed to exist. And regarding Jam's connection to Diddy and those infamous parties, what are your thoughts? Do you believe Diddy would go so far as to try to remove Jam from Diddy's hit list? Jamie Furrow, leave a comment below. Please ensure